This is where it was hot that time, and we would hear the click. You can actually feel a little bit of crunching. You can, right? Yeah, when he moves. It does seem to be worse on the right. Let me look into it a little bit more. Oh, thank you. And I do appreciate, because you are skeptical, still taking the time to talk to us. I appreciate it. Sure. You coming, bud? Hello? Hi, uh, Dr. O'Connor. This is uh, John Sykes calling from the Bronx Zoo. Hi, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? Very good, thanks. I know Kathleen has talked with you about the potential of using cryotherapy in one of our kangaroos. Yes, primarily I treat uh, humans. Right. But, well, there was a canine that came in. He had an arthritic hip. It's certainly not far fetched. I'm just trying to get a handle of, you know, like how does it work and what are the potential risks in using it? It's like a wand that moves over that certain area. So it's a very fast treatment, anywhere from two to six minutes. I don't know how large the kangaroo is. There's very, very little risk with localized cryotherapy. Think of cryotherapy as a more intense or more effective cold compress. Okay, I'll get back with Kathleen, then uh, we'll be back in touch then. All right, thanks so much. I appreciate the phone call. I think I need to digest a little bit, but the bottom line is we do new things here at the zoo all the time. Uh, we extrapolate from human medicine, we extrapolate from veterinary medicine. So it sounds to me like we'll be pretty safe with trying this out and seeing what happens. So what we're gonna do is about four to five minutes um, on that certain area on the canker on room. Area. Yeah. Okay. Usually we stand about this far away from someone, but then um, for an animal with the fur, we'll go a little bit closer for them. You'll be able to feel it now. It doesn't feel like I, as cold as I thought it was going to Yeah. Feel. It feels good. Yeah. Just getting a couple of treats for Dave. Grapes and peanut butter, his favorite treats. This is the first time for him, first time for all of us seeing this happen, so. Um, it could go really, really well, or he might not even, he might not even want to walk into the room, depending on how he is. Come on, bud. Good boy, Dave. Hey, Dave. Cryo time. <laughs> I'm excited. Hopefully, if he accepts the treatment, I think this is going to help his arthritis. Is that a good position, Marie? Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Dave. Okay, okay. Hey, That's good. He's handsome, huh? Yeah. So this is about negative 200 degrees, just because how close I am to right. his skin. Yeah. He's being very tolerant. Very good. He's a good boy. It's amazing how quiet that is. Look, he's enjoying this. Areas that are inflamed, that cold, is kind of like putting an ice pack on that on an area. Uh, you feel relief right away. So it's the same thing, except this is more intense for him. LeBron James has this in his house. It's funny. <laughs> so Dave's getting the same treatment as star athletes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. <laughs> He's leaning on us. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> It's probably clear that I'm still skeptical. I'm gonna be skeptical until I see more real proof that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Oh. <laughs> I hope that this helps him. We're all on that same page. Okay, you are done. He's finished? He's done. Cool. Dave. Awesome. You did so good. That's exciting. <laughs> he likes his new friends. <laughs> well, clearly it didn't cause him any discomfort whatsoever. I mean, he didn't even shift his weight. No. Nope. That was amazing. That was great. I'm not surprised. Dave is a calm animal by nature, and experiencing the cryotherapy myself, it's relaxing. You smell like peanut butter. So I, I think he was pretty chill. <laughs> chill. Sorry, that was so stupid. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> He's great. He's moving really great. 
think if I'm noticing a difference right now, it's in my head, it's wishful thinking. I, I know this has to be cumulative, it's not gonna happen right away. The plan is to do a few more sessions, see how it goes. He's gonna do really well, I can tell. Come on, bud. Today we're gonna put him in the large exercise yard. He hasn't been out there for quite some time. I wanna see if he's comfortable, and then I wanna see how he moves. Is he gonna run, is he gonna hesitate? I just hope he enjoys it. Good job, buddy. You remember this, huh? Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I maybe I should get that quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Wow. Good oh, boy. That feel good? <laughs> <laughs> You're oh. there, right? <laughs> oh, you okay? You ready, Jim? Oh, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He's oh, ready to write people. <laughs> oh. I think he's moving pretty good. <laughs> he was sound enough to take me out. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the old days. <laughs> <laughs> he feels great. He looks great. He looks like he's having fun. You having Aww. fun, Dave? <laughs> he hasn't moved like this in for a very long time.